Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a daily reading for December 14th, 2020. This is a reading for all signs, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, so let's go ahead and invite spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and ascended masters to this space to deliver the messages that we need to hear for the collective for December 14th, 2020. Now, this reading is going to look a little different than my other dailies because this is a full, uh, sorry, a new moon, total solar eclipse, and Sagittarius reading. I have all of your individual signs readings up for this new moon total solar eclipse so please check those out but this is going to be a reading for the collective uh, what messages do we have for the collective for this total solar eclipse new moon in sagittarius all right so we have the four of wands for some of you this is about separation from a person um, for some of you, you're still waiting for your ships to come in. All right. There's that waiting for your ships to come in. Ooh, okay. So what I'm seeing here, you guys, is lots of wands energy. So Aries, Leo, Sag, but there's a lot of passion here. But for some of us, the passion may have run out. The love may have run out in this particular situation. It can be a marriage. It can be a partnership. It could be a job. Okay. It could be something that you thought was going to bring you stability and abundance, protection and happiness. Um, and it's like you've been waiting for so long. You've been waiting so long and you've been putting so much energy into it that you now are starting to feel depleted. With the Page of Wands, this is the need for you to rebuild. This is a need for you to really work on that solar plexus. Now, the Divine Masculine or our masculine energies within have been going through a rebirth and a detox while Mars was in retrograde. But I believe there's still an opposition to Pluto. So we're, again, we're still having this transformation taking um, taking place within the solar plexus in each and every one of us. And for those of you who are in a counterpart situation, the masculine twin or Aries natives may still be going through this transformation. What spirit is asking you here with the three of wands is to hold space and to wait because the work that you are doing and the, and the transformation that is taking place is going to lead you to a brand new beginning. The Ten of Wands in reverse is releasing burdens, and this is Sagittarius energy, so it's coming with this eclipse, releasing burdens, seeing things from a higher perspective, moving on to something new, beautiful. But you do need to refill your own cup, okay? Now, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, so many of you guys may see this as a missed opportunity. Whatever this Four of Wands represents for you, whether it's a partnership, a union, a job, a home, a family, okay, whatever it is, some of you are feeling as if the opportunity was missed. We have two Aces coming out in reverse. It's something that you channeled so much energy into, you've been patiently waiting for it to bear fruit. But the Page of Pentacles is telling me that there was some sort of hesitation or there was some sort of block to this getting off the ground or this really, this seed being able to be planted and grow fruit. And we have the Three of Pentacles because there was a lack of collaboration. Now this could be between, between you and someone else, okay? Or maybe because we didn't have heart, you know, we didn't have heart, body, and mind all in alignment. Or maybe we weren't, we were juggling too much. Our energy was too... Um, you know, was too scattered. So we weren't able to focus it and bring this, you know, and bring this contract into fruition, bring the stability, grab onto this happiness. Okay. And we have the Knight of Swords, a lack of alignment, something that maybe, um, you know, it's confusion. And we get the Page of Swords. So some sort of communication, some sort of watching, some sort of waiting. But you can see how defensive this page is, and he's holding that heart chakra. So somebody who wasn't quite open maybe to collaboration, to new ideas, to moving forward. All right, so let's go ahead and see what messages come through here. 
What does this Four of Wands mean for the collective, please? Yeah, look at that. By the lovers in reverse. This is some sort of separation. Some sort of... Wow, for, for many of you it is going to be you're in separation from your twin or a deep soul connection. That's where you are right now. For others of you, there was a really difficult choice made about, again, whatever this Four of Wands is for you. A job, a home, a journey, something that you... I just got also like having children. Okay, like just something that's like a major decision was made that you had to sort of... You have to wait longer Some sort of contract being broken. The Ace of Cups. Somebody made a decision or needed to make a decision where they were going to focus their energy. And they were juggling. Okay. And as a result of that juggling, the energy ran out. Again, it could be you really working hard, you know, not having a work-life balance. It could be somebody juggling two people. It could be juggling, you know, family and friends. But not being able to channel your energy. And that's why whatever this is, this this whatever you saw was this potential to bring you stability, happiness, and success couldn't take root. The Page of Wands being clarified by the Death card. For some of you, it hasn't completely ended. Okay, for some of you, you feel like this is a completely lost cause. You might be feeling a little bit devastated, but death in the reverse tells me that there's resistance to change or there's possibility of a second chance here. But the only way that's going to happen is if there's patience and planning and if we rebuild that solar plexus. For some of you, the divine feminine is absolutely holding space for the divine masculine and there's a resistance here to that change, to that detox, to that purge. Okay. This three of wands. Wow. All right. So again, somebody here is waiting. Spirit is telling that you will be getting what you want, what you deserve. But there's something that needs to be let go of. And it could be this particular dream, this particular idea, this particular person. Okay. Okay. But that's when you're going to see everything come together, when you detach from the outcome. Because I see there's disappointment here with the Ace of Pentacles, something you thought was going to go the distance. Ten of Wands in reverse. This is you gaining clarity, getting the clarity to see what wasn't working for you. This is strategy. This is your advice. When you're finally able to see what was taking from this, whether it was somebody, whether it was you not channeling energy into a relationship or into a job because your because it was too scattered, you're going to see what was taking from you financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and when you do, that's what's going to like sort of tip this, the tip the scales is what I'm getting and move you, plunge you into a new beginning. We have the justice card. Again, I was picking up on that here. What you've been waiting for is going to come in, but something has to give first. There's some sort of what you what you may view as a sacrifice, but you're going to have to give. You're going to have to release. You're going to have to create space to allow the universe to fill it with its grace. Page of rods, again, in the reverse, and also sort of build yourself up. Believe in yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and see what comes through with the Psychic Tarot. Messages for the Collective. All right, we get light. This is the sun. This is happiness. This is excitement. This is co-creation. So spirit doesn't want you to give up hope. Whatever you're releasing, whatever you're finding out, whatever new higher perspective you're getting as a result of this Sagittarius new moon solar eclipse energy is going to catapult you into the light. Six of swords, you're moving on. You're letting go. This is peace of mind. Spiritual strength. You've learned some really tough lessons. You may have needed a little break, but this is what's going to allow you to push forward and into this brand new cycle. 
and we get the throat chakra, the importance of communication. So you may be receiving an important communication, but you may also be speaking your truth. And there's Aquarius energy, which is going to lead to healing. And that the universe wants you to know that by you following your intuition, the stars are aligning for you, even if it doesn't feel like it, but that justice is going to be served. Because I have the lovers and the four of wands here, I'm going to pull romance angels for you. Release your ex, absolutely. So some of us, this is what we're releasing. And that's going to take a lot of strength to walk away from a deep soul connection. Doesn't mean that it's forever either. And we get free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. To move on, to move forward. Okay, pay attention to the red flags. All right. But again, if this doesn't resonate for you in a love situation, you guys, it's releasing, making this tough decision, whatever this four of wands was for you, okay? It's something that you thought would bring you stability and happiness, but you're sort of recognizing some of you may have ignored the red flags that this wasn't happening, this wasn't going down, <laughs> how much it was truly draining you. And we get Angel of Miracles. Open your heart and expect a miracle. Beautiful. I told you, for some of you, this was about giving, having children. But it could just be what you're birthing, this new cycle. And then we get the Owl. Follow your intuition. Man, I just, you know, I don't know if it's because I just did the Scorpio reading, but for some of you, I'm speaking directly to Scorpionic energy, and there's something in that Scorpio reading for you. At the bottom of the deck, choices. Make the best choices. Yeah, because it's time for you to refill your cup, and the choices there is showing up with the Two of Pentacles. Where are you going to channel your energy? All right, so now I'm going to pull from the True Love reading cards. These are by Belinda Grace. They're beautiful. All right, we get intimacy. Beautiful. We get forgiveness. Forgiving yourself and forgiving others. Knowing that you did the best you could with what you had. And then we get soulmates. So for some of you, absolutely, this is a soulmate situation. Intimacy is beautiful. Now, guys, I'm going to read from the book here because these messages are extremely powerful. And I'm going to read about intimacy. So for some of you guys, you are releasing somebody. You're taking control back. You're forgiving yourself and you're forgiving them. With the sun card and the hope card, maybe with karmic justice here, this can be a reunion. But for others of you, you're moving on. But not for everybody is it going to be about love. So what I'm getting here is true intimacy is a powerful and beautiful energy that will transform your relationships. Most of us have experienced physical intimacy during sex, yet we all know that sex, no matter how good, does not sustain a full relationship. Emotional and spiritual intimacies are the key to a deeper interpersonal connection. In recent years, intimacy between friends and partners has been replaced by the sharing of emotional and spiritual wounds. But the angels and guides say that your potential or existing partner is not meant to be your healer or therapist. In fact, a tendency to bring your past hurts and disappointments into conversations with your beloved can actually keep them alive or unconsciously make your partner feel responsible for fixing you and your problems. These matters are best dealt with by an objective and caring professional. The kind of intimacy your heart truly desires shows up when you and your partner reveal the innocent, tender, idealistic, and creative sides of yourself to one another. These parts of your personality are often playful, cheeky, irreverent, childlike, and joyful. 
They are not concerned about what the neighbors think. Of course, intimacy can include sharing your secret fears with your partner too, but do so in a way that makes it clear that you are simply revealing an intimate truth about yourself rather than burdening your beloved with your concerns. Intimacy also includes physical closeness without sex, feeling one another, washing or styling your partner's hair, placing a blanket over your partner when they fall asleep, or having a bath together are just a few examples. Some of the most profound intimate moments happen when there's no conversation at all and your beautiful connection is enhanced by a glorious sunset or graceful bird on the wing. You have drawn this card because your soul longs for you to understand how real intimacy arises and to make yourself available to its loving influences from now on. And so what I'm getting, and regardless of what situation you may found, find yourself in, you guys, this is about vulnerability and letting down those walls. And for so many of us, this has been so difficult because we've been having to do it all or we've, ta we've been taught that showing our true feelings or being vulnerable is a weakness. And it couldn't be farther from the truth. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you found clarity and guidance in these messages. I love you so much. Thank you for listening. Have a beautiful day.